In this video, I wanted to have a look at the entirety of the Cyberpunk Hills, this part of the map right about here, uh, which saw a shitload of cut content, including the infamous casino, uh, but also an end cart station, which kind of exists half in the hills. And it doesn't really take a genius to work out that this entire right section of the map is very, very barren compared to, say, the left section of the map right about here, where we have the Arasaka waterfront, which is basically cut in itself and then we have the spaceport which was added with phantom liberty and then you know you get the idea i want to start off by saying that uh, it is basically confirmed that the kind of hills area of night city was at one point in time supposed to be substantially bigger as you can see on screen right about now this is from a pre-release version of cyberpunk and we can see that there was initially a lot more planned for this area a lot of this was probably residential a lot of it ultimately was probably tied to a lot bigger plans and greater ambitions that unfortunately could never get realized with the game's you know uh, hardware limitations and also the uh, ever amounting pressure and closer deadlines which CDPR were finding. I want to start off with an end cart track which uh, presumably just goes into nowhere. This is featured on uh, again the left side of the map uh, near the oil fields which again is, is basically cut content but this track goes through a large portion of the city um, if we actually follow it round we can see that it almost changes into an entirely different piece of track. It only starts to have this kind of blue and uh, corrugated look to it about here. We can see that before this, uh, the track is actually just a road. And in fact, this entire bridge all the way along here is just a road. It's almost like this road was basically built to be a bridge, you know, similar to this but then kind of last minute was sort of turned into an end cart track. But this makes even less sense because right about here, you can see that we have the blue corrugated iron, and then all of a sudden that stops. And for this little kind of corner bend round here, turns into a actual highway and then kind of branches off, but then ultimately goes back to the blue corrugated iron. So I don't know what the hell is going on with that. And if we follow this a little way along, we can see that it suddenly hits what is essentially a tunnel or some kind of entrance to uh, what one could assume to be a underground train network. This is it from the outside, so um, it does kind of look like a tunnel or the beginning of a tunnel. It's even got graffiti on it, it's got detailing on it, so one could assume that this was supposed to be a part of, I don't know, gameplay, a part of the mission area. Bearing in mind there's literally no point of interest around here whatsoever. We of course have like the little LA spillway, but this is basically teasing the edge of the map. I mean, look, it's already threatening me. So anyway, not to keep cock teasing you, but um, if we clip through this, we can see that the track actually does continue going a little bit underneath the map. And this side of the track is slightly longer than this side. Don't know what that's about. Uh, but it doesn't go on forever, it doesn't link up with anything. I've been trying to work out for a long time whereabouts this would link up to. And you can kind of look on the map and you can see that this is the end card track right here. What was the point of this? Where was this supposed to link up with? And honestly, this is anyone's guess. I think most likely though, it would have done some kind of circle. So maybe it would have gone a little bit down here, maybe gone round the casino as well. Round the bottom, linked up somewhere around this portion of the map it's, it's completely up for debate but look how empty just this part of the map is there's like a big huge chunk just completely fucking missing so this is where the end cart station ends or the end cart track ends and you know again to try and put this into perspective there is just all of this basically which is empty all of this which is unplayable but still very much inside of the map and all of this which is I guess playable but just not a lot going on this whole portion of the map is pretty scarce and, and pretty boring we also have little weird oddities like these tiny little skyscrapers that are being built like I don't know what the hell this is about and again it, it really gives me some kind of feeling that 
there was something more going on like even this is a path and this kind of goes like underneath the bridge but it's all just so out of the way and barely used uh coupled with the fact that this entire bridge is also unused like this is an entire walkway which i covered last year that's supposed to give this kind of heightened verticality to night city and it's just fucking unused it's just it hasn't been touched but look at the size of it it's massive and it also connects to these buildings down here all right so let's have a little look at the casino this thing is basically unchanged since uh we last visited it uh still has collision apart from the swimming pool for whatever reason still has this really weird pop in but you know it still has interiors it's still solid there's still just um a big unused part of the map here which still stings still hurts oh it it definitely hurts don't worry another pretty large piece of evidence as well is the entrance to the casino which uh is featured right here and we have this kind of oh. caution we've got like a little uh, crime scene on the go i'm not really interested but you go along and it has um actually a palm tree which is just poking through the roof anyways this is the entrance and there's those are like construction equipment that's been like awkwardly placed here to try and make it look like there's stuff going on but if you follow it all the way around it just continues and continues and conti and it keeps continuing and eventually it does stop and i think this is even on the map yeah you can see this entire road is unused so maybe even this was supposed to tie up with the end cart station pretty much on the same level i don't know and there's a pretty good chance that this would have been some kind of entrance, maybe even going underneath it, you know, like here. And then it maybe would have popped out into like a car park underneath. Could explain why the ground is solid underneath the casino. But I think ultimately, the one thing which we can take from this is that the casino gives off very similar energy to Pacifica before uh, Phantom Liberty DLC. As in, it has a blocked off entrance with basically the exact same way of uh trying to create illusions you know like oh there's construction going on there's gates which are closed it's it's the same goddamn kettle of fish it's so very fucking obvious that this was supposed to be a big part of the map um even like over here as well look at this like there, there's just so much unused space it's it's really depressing and it's a real shame that this didn't get touched up upon or will ever get touched up upon but yeah that just about sums it up so uh let me know what you think guys uh do you think this was supposed to be something crazy or or something not so crazy let me know and um as always thank you for watching and i'll catch you lot in a bit